Yo guys, Code Life here. So in this video today guys, I'm gonna quickly showcase some secret tips that should help boost your FPS in Fortnite Chapter 3. Now how much FPS you guys will gain in this video will be PC dependent. The lower PCs will definitely see the highest amount of FPS gains, whereas the high end PCs might only see some slight FPS gains. But all in all guys, you should definitely see some extra FPS after watching this video. So if it does help out, please let me know by dropping a like on the video and leaving a subscription to the channel there's apparently a high percentage of you that watch me on subbed so if you could do that guys i'd appreciate it greatly now though let's go ahead and get straight into the video starting off with disabling the high precision event timer in windows to find this option simply head over to your desktop as you can see i'm on right here press the windows key and the r key at the same time this will open the run utility in here you want to type in the following command dev mg mt dot msc after typing that in simply press enter and this will open up the device manager in here you want to locate system devices and expand that option and then you want to locate this setting right here called the high precision event time option simply right click on it and make sure it's disabled if it isn't already as you can see for me it is already disabled by default but for you guys it might not be now before you guys disable it you may be thinking what does this setting even do and what it is is it's basically a hardware timer that's used for synchronizing multimedia streams but I've heard people having issues with this specific setting where apparently it's causing some spikes in CPU performance which results in things like stutters and low performance in games like Fortnite. So because of those issues right there from what I've read online the majority of people seem to disable this setting and have seen increases in performance. But I will say this right now guys a small minority of people have actually seen the opposite in terms of results. I've seen that some people and I will say some as it wasn't that many at all in comparison to disabling it but some people have enabled the setting and have seen actually better performance performance than disabling it so it's one of those ones guys that if you are on the fence about it I recommend googling your PC specs and seeing what people are using on your specific specs if you are on the fence about it however I will say that the majority of people should find that disabling this setting will improve FPS and reduce any sort of stutters in games <coughs> GPU priority tweak to make this change head over to your desktop and press the Windows key plus R at the same time inside of a run box you want to type in reg edit once inside of this, you want to click on the top bar, remove that, and then simply paste in this command that I'll have linked in the description below. Once you've done that, guys, the system profile file should open up right here, as you can see. And in here, we're going to be making some changes. However, before we make some changes, guys, it's very important that for all the values I'm about to change, you write them down or rather screenshot them beforehand in case you want to revert to them later. If you have any issues, all you have to do is revert back to the default values that we had before making these changes I'm about to show you, and boom, you're all good to go. But the first change we're going to be making is to the system responsiveness for this i would set the value data to one using the hexadecimal option after that you want to head back over to the folder section navigate to the subfolder called tasks and then navigate to the subfolder of that folder called games and then here you want to double click on the gpu priority set that to a value of eight and then you want to go into the priority one change that to a value of six inside of schedule and category you want to make sure that is set to high that's h i g h and then finally in the s f i I01, you want to set that to high as well. And what this will do is it'll increase the priority for gaming so that you get more FPS and in turn better performance. Disabling startup programs in Windows. To do this, head over to your desktop and press the following keys at the same time. That's Control, Shift, and Escape. And boom, this should open up your task manager. At the top bar right there, make sure to click on Startup. And right here is all the programs that actually load up straight away whenever you log in or actually turn on your PC. You'll see exactly which ones do this with the status. If they're enabled, they'll be running in the background when you open up your PC automatically. And if they're disabled, so on the other end, this means that they won't do that. What we want to do here, guys, is actually disable all the applications that we don't want to start up automatically when we boot up our PC. As what this will do is it'll make those programs not take up resources that just don't need to be taken up. Instead, we'd rather those resources go to like running our games like Fortnite to get high FPS. So for all applications that you don't want running when you're open up windows like Spotify for example just make sure that you go into the status and disable all programs that you don't want to boot up with your PC when you obviously turn it on. Now do bear in mind guys this doesn't actually disable all the programs like you can still use them again. By disabling them all we're doing is literally stopping them from auto starting when we boot our PC. It doesn't mean you can't open them again you obviously can it's just at the beginning when you open up your PC these programs that we're disabling won't automatically boot up with it which will in turn um, save 
resources so we can allocate those resources to other things like Fortnite. Using an adware cleaner, for this guys you want to head over to Google and type in the following um, software that's completely free and safe to use. It's called Malware Bytes Adware Cleaner, just type it in like I have right here and then make sure you click on the first one from the official Malware Bytes website. Once on it guys you want to simply download it, it's 100% free and then once you have installed it, downloaded it and done all that, you should be ready to actually open up a software and click scan now. Click scan now guys, it should do it pretty fast, it doesn't take long at all and what this will do is it will go through your entire PC and see if there's any sort of like adware, PUPs or pre-installed software that's just not wanted, not needed and could be clogging up your PC big time. If you've actually had any sort of malware before guys, you'll know that it literally can like cause PC overheating, it can slow down your PC, it can literally like make sudden sort of shutdowns happen, blue screens, just loads of mad stuff can actually happen and overall it's just best to keep your PC clean, like 100% clean from any sort of adware. So a free program like this is great to make sure that no sort of malware, adware or anything horrible gets on your PC. And guys after scanning as you can see it's very possible that your PC is clean like mine is if you do this sort of scanning regularly but it is very possible guys that you could see one, two, maybe even a hundred PUPs that pop up which by the way comment how many pop up in the comment section below I'd love to know. But getting back to it guys if any PUPs um, come up and actually flag up do not worry just make sure they're quarantined and you are all good to go. Turning off high resolution textures. To do this head over to your Epic Games launcher and click on the library section right here. In here you want to locate Fortnite and click on those three horizontal dots right next to it. Then you want to click on the option setting right there and in this tab right here guys you want to go ahead and uncheck the box where it says use high quality textures and what this does guys is by disabling the high resolution textures this will remove around 20 gigabytes of high res content from Fortnite which will boost your FPS but it will be at a small cost of in-game quality loss which is expected as we're removing the high quality textures but it's 100% worth it guys as for one we'll be gaining more FPS and two we'll be saving a ton of storage space as literally 20 gigabytes of content will be removed which is amazing so yeah you definitely want to make sure that those textures are disabled. And yeah guys that right there was some secret tips to help you boost your FPS in Fortnite Chapter 3. If this video helped you out then feel free to help me out back by dropping a like on the video, subscribing to the channel and using code life in the Fortnite item shop. That helped me out a ton guys and it really would be appreciated. I'll catch you all in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace.